Hello everyone, this is Derek with Git Techie, and today we are going to go over the SUMIF function within Numbers for Mac, or Apple's version of Excel. The SUMIF function goes over what the sum of a data set of numbers is if a certain criteria is met. This criteria can be if it is less than a certain number, or if it's greater than a certain number, or if it equals a certain number. This can also be applied to words or statements, such as types of fruit. Go ahead and look at our data set right here. We have types of fruits and costs. Today I'm going to go over three different examples of how you can use the SUMIF function to generate a sum based upon certain criteria that's placed on the data. For this first example, we're going to find the total if the cost is less than 5. I'm going to go ahead and click on the cell that I want the total to be in, click the equal sign, and then type in some if, and click on some if. This first value that we're going to get is our test values, which is just our data set. So go ahead and select all of your data. Once the data is selected, go ahead and put a comma in, and then put your condition. Conditions are placed in by placing a quotation mark. And then for this, it's going to be less than 5. So I'm going to do the less than symbol, or that little caret, with the 5. And then complete it with quotation marks. This sum values is not normally necessary to use for the sumif function. Go ahead and either click the green check mark or click enter. And you will find the sum if is less than 5. So in this situation, all of the costs that we have that are less than 5 are going to be 4, 3, and 3, which total then to 10. In a similar fashion, we can do this with greater than. So again, we'll click on the equal sign, type in sum if, click on sum if, select all of our data, put in a comma, and then place our condition. Again, it's going to be quotation marks. We're going to use the greater than symbol. Click 5, and then close it again with our quotation marks. Then we can click Enter. Now we can see there's only one value that's greater than 5, which is 7, or the amount that grapes cost. This can also do this function can also handle if it equals the exact number and then sum that number over and over. So go ahead and put in your equal sign. Type in your equation, which is going to be sum if. Click on sum if. Get all of your data in there. Comma. Quotation mark. Equal sign. And we'll do three, since there are multiple costs of three. Put in your other quotation mark, and then simply click enter. Since there are two costs of three, it's going to sum them together, which will be six. Hopefully this helped you out. Have a great rest of your day.